Some of you will have seen my tweet where I said I was trying out a new feature for my Twitch stream, by the way, twitch.tv slash Nemeth, most Tuesdays and Thursdays from 10pm UK time, whether that's BST or GMT. Uh, but yeah, my tweet was about a glass board that I was trying out, and uh, Chris PG, aka Papa Glitch on Twitch, that's, that rhymes, uh, said, this is absolutely fantastic, and I would love to know how you did it. So I said, well, I'll make a video. And this is it. So the first thing you'll need, unless you fancy drawing with the mouse, which isn't very pleasant, it's possible, but it's not very pleasant, is one of these. It's a graphics tablet, and in case you haven't seen one, a graphics tablet is just like a tablet, like a tablet you go on the internet on, but it doesn't have a screen on it. Now, I'm aware there are some exceptions to this rule. There are graphics tablets that do have screens, but they're also ridiculously expensive. And the next thing you'll need is something to scribble on. A virtual thing to scribble on. Any program will do, really. I mean, I've been looking through YouTube and there's a fair few tutorials that have inspired the next bit of this video. This is not my original idea. It was one of those things I didn't think of until I saw it on YouTube, which is why YouTube's so great, I suppose. Um, and I thought, oh, use a, a, a whiteboard and turn it into a glass board. I'd never thought of doing it this way before. But the video I watched, it kind of made it seem like, right, you just get your whiteboard program you uh, go into OBS, which is the software I'm using to record this, and the software I use to broadcast my Twitch streams. It's a free piece of broadcasting software. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, it's called OBS Studio. And it, yeah, they say go into OBS, click on the, the color key, uh, take the white out, and hey presto, you've got a glass board. Uh, they're, not, they're not wrong, but they're not right <laughs> entirely, because yeah, that, that's one way of doing it. But I mean, if I do that now, so I've set up a whiteboard in the way that those videos say to, and there's nothing wrong with that, it does work, but, um... Okay, I mean, the answer to that question is, can you read this? Well, yes. Don't read my handwriting, okay? But, but, it's, it's a bit kind of, I mean, look, if I, if I move over here, it's a bit kind of, ow, ow, that, that's hurting my eyes, so I hope it's not hurting yours too much, I'm just trying to demonstrate a point. Um, and also you've got like this this weird white fringe around it because all I've done is subtract the white from the white board which removes the background yeah but in a very rough way it literally just cuts around roughly cuts around all of these strokes and also this video is about how I did it not how everybody else did it there are loads of videos on YouTube about how everybody else did it I'll refer you to them there's links they're, they're good videos and they've got lots of other great tips as well but this is how I did it the program I'm using is called Microsoft Whiteboard. It's free. I'm, I'm kind of assuming you're using Windows there. I know if you're using another operating system, I'm sure there are other free options available on your system as well. Uh, but the one I'm using is free in the App Store, but you will need a Microsoft account. Again, that's also free to get. And you may already have one if you have signed up with uh, a Microsoft account to Minecraft, or if you're signed in Skype, that's probably a Microsoft account, or if you've got a Hotmail after all these years, which I still have a Hotmail account, <laughs> which is showing my age. Anyway, this is called Microsoft Whiteboard, so I'm going to drag a window of Microsoft Whiteboard just to show you, and you can see it's, it's white, it's a board, you can, you can, you've got, you can drag it around, you can use the pen, you can sort of scribble on it. Um, but what you can also do is change the background, and because I haven't used Color Key, I'm going to use a filter called Luma Key instead. What I want to do is format the background so that it's dark instead of light, so it's more like it's, it's a blackboard, it's a chalkboard rather than a whiteboard. Uh, so let's just take that off the screen so you can see me again. And what I'm going to do is create a new scene first of all. Let's call that Twitch Studio Glassboard YouTube. So I've already got one set up, but I've, I've done that slightly differently. So let's start from scratch. I'm going to add into this my scene for the actual studio so that I'm back and got our background. So there we are. That, that's me on the background, if you like. <laughs> and we're going to put the window capture of the Microsoft whiteboard, which arguably that's the name of the program, but I've now turned it into a blackboard. Um, we're going to put that onto the top and click OK. And then if you want to stretch that, firstly I'll make the window full screen on my monitor. And then I'm going to stretch the screen. That gets rid of that bottom bar that's sort of missing because that's where the taskbar would be. What you can do then is if you hold down Alt and drag that top handle, you can get rid of the top bar and you can even get rid of that. 
and then you can do the same on the bottom holding down alt just dragging the mouse up after you've clicked stretch to screen and then it does that so it sort of crops out the edges yeah it'll 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 squish the whiteboard a bit but you won't notice that because it's handwriting so it'll be fine and then the next thing we need to do is see me again so if you right click filters and you click on luma key instead of color key now you could color key out the black of the blackboard as well it's more like a dark gray but i'm going to use luma key because personally and again it might be personal preference personally it takes out that weirdness that you get those weird white fringes i was showing you earlier so if i doodle something here and go i am an artist look at that can you see that if i if i do this well you can see the background coming back in so maybe if i shrink that over there if i move this slider up and down can you see I'm, I'm, it, it doesn't take very much now that's okay but we've still got some of the same problems that we had before which is that you know if i'm moving around or your background's too chaotic that's still blooming hard to read hard to see so i wasn't entirely happy with that so i thought right okay we can make it better again we can make it even better than that because the background is kind of the same brightness of the writing so the first thing we want to do is do a bit of color correction and bring that brightness down the downside is that when you do that it'll look a bit weird well i'll show you if i just bring the brightness straight down bleh. <laughs> i mean it could be a cool effect but no uh so what we really want is just 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 to play about with these and it'll take some time to get the right settings took me a few minutes drop the contrast down a little bit that'll help uh, drop the gamma down so the gamma will where you've got those sort of faded out bits you can see if i exaggerate there the, the bits that look kind of muted faded um, so it takes those down a bit so that's that's looking okay maybe right this down a touch but not too much because the brightness is making the color go weird actually i leave the color that where it is maybe desaturate it a bit because there'll be lots of colors on the whiteboard so that'll desaturation literally it's like turning down the color slider on your old tv it's uh, it, it's taking the colors out if you go there it's black and white go there it's crazy colors yeah so down to about that looks that looks good um so that's not terrible but i'm still a bit sharp and because the writing is sharp and i'm sharp i'm, I'm sharp uh then maybe we can add something else so let's go to blur and i think this blur filter comes with stream effects so you'll, you'll probably want to install stream effects so uh, dual filtering just does loads of blur that's that's possibly too much but that might be the effect you want so there we are dual filtering with blur on five gives you that which actually looks quite cool but i want to be seen a little more than that just a little so let's pull it that way a bit uh, about there yeah about there so yeah the point is then this gives me the flexibility to still point at stuff on the screen there's there's my uh, <laughs> never make a weather present but i can still point at stuff on the screen you can still see roughly where i'm doodling um and yeah maybe I, maybe i'll take the brightness down a touch and again you can, you can experiment with all of this um gamma down maybe contrast down rather than brightness on its own because that yeah something like something like that and then you can still you can still see me i'm still there uh, maybe i won't use that blue pen because it's just not a very good color we can change the colors again it'll take some some work so how about now yeah Okay, and, and don't write on top of my RGB lights that are behind me. But yeah, um, hopefully that gets the point across. That's how that's how I did it. Um, you can tweak it to your heart's content. You can uh, decide how you want it for your setup. But that works really well. 